Wanna know how you can create an attention-grabbing thumbnail that'll help you to get more clicks and more views on your fitness YouTube videos? Today, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how you can recreate a thumbnail just like this one quickly, easily, and all for free using Canva, so keep on watching. Your video title and your video thumbnail are the two most important elements that'll determine whether someone decides to click on your video and watch it or not. So it's important that you give yourself the best opportunity to be able to create a great attention grabbing thumbnail when it comes to the design process. To do that, get into the habit of doing a little bit of design research for your thumbnails before you press record, as well as taking some photos of yourself before or after the workout. This way you'll have plenty of professional looking options to choose from when it comes to the design. Now I'm gonna jump straight into Canva and I've already uploaded the image that I'm going to use. I just took a screenshot from one of my YouTube workout videos because I know that's how a lot of people are coming up with their designs. They're just taking a screen grab and then creating their design from there. So I wanna show you how you can take a not so great image and turn it into an awesome thumbnail. So I'm gonna click create a design and then select YouTube thumbnail and that's gonna give me the exact dimensions for our YouTube thumbnail. I'm gonna select the upload icon here, select the image that I uploaded and then stretch it out so it fits the frame. Now I've got it where I want it. I'm going to enhance the image by selecting edit image. And then I'm going to click on this adjust button and that's gonna open up a whole menu of tools that are gonna allow me to enhance this image. And I'm gonna increase the saturation to something that you wouldn't normally take it up to. And that is because when people are viewing these thumbnails, a lot of times they're looking at them on mobile. So they're looking at them as this tiny little image. And you really want your thumbnail to pop. So it's okay to take the saturation up and really make it stand out. And then I'm also going to just sharpen it up a little bit by using the blur tool and I'm just going to go backwards and you can see that it really sharpened it up then. Once I've done editing the image, I'm gonna start adding some text. Now a really important tip when it comes to adding text to your thumbnail is not to repeat the exact same things you've already got in your title. People are going to view your thumbnail first and then usually look at the title. So you wanna use attention grabbing words, power words that are gonna make them want to read on further and then hopefully click on your video. So it's best to paraphrase or use three to five words. Now this was a 30 minute full body dumbbell no repeat workout and I don't wanna use all of that text. Instead, I'm going to sum it up as quick full body burn. So let's start adding text. I'm gonna click on the text icon, click add a heading. I'm using this font Poppins Bold. Just gonna make that a little bit bigger and then Add quick and then just to make it quicker for myself as well, I'm just going to duplicate this text. And now I'm going to reposition my text and make it a little bit bigger. Now that I have all my text sorted, I want to add a background behind the text just to make it pop even a little bit more. So I'm going to select on the elements and then I'm going to select on the square and then shift it behind the text. And then I'm gonna change the color to a purple that kind of matches my outfit and really pops off the screen. And then I'm gonna change 
the font color to white. And I'm gonna add the border behind the other pieces of text as well. Once you've got your text and border sorted, you can highlight over the border and text and then go up to your three dots and select group. And now this will move together as a group. Once we've got all of our text sorted, we're going to position it where we want it to be. So I'm gonna add a little bit of an angle to some of my text. And you can see that this full body is behind the burn. Now I want that to be in front, so I'm gonna select the full body text and then my three little dots again and hit position. And then I'm gonna select forward and then that's just brought that text element in front of the burn text. Now I'm gonna make the text pop off of their backgrounds a little bit more. So I'm gonna select each text element and then select effects. And I'm gonna select the lift and you can see it did just give it a bit of a lift. My text is where I want it to be, but it's still looking really ordinary. So I'm going to pop a bit of a background behind my text. I'm going to select on the square element, stretch it out. I'm gonna change the color to yellow, which will just be a nice contrast with the purple and gray that I'm already using. And then I'm gonna click on this transparency icon and drop that down to about 70%. And then I'm gonna select on position and keep clicking on backward until it's behind my text elements. I'm gonna turn it on its side and just move it across so that it's only covering half of our text. It's looking really good, but I think we could add a few more elements to really make it pop and grab people's attention. I'm gonna add the calories to this thumbnail. You could also add the time by selecting on a clock element. So I'm gonna search up fire and I'm gonna select this free element here. And then I'm gonna move it over into this corner. Reduce the size. And I'm gonna change the color to the purple that I've been using. And then I'm gonna add the total calories that I burnt for this workout. So I'm gonna select on some text again, make it a little bit smaller, and change the font color to white. And then I might put a purple background behind it just so that text really pops off the screen as well. So selecting on my elements again, I'm gonna select my square element. I'm gonna group these elements together. So there you have it. We just created a really attention grabbing thumbnail for your next fitness YouTube video. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a like, give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna know how to create the best title to get clicks and views on your videos, check out this video right here.